If you go on Yuffie's Amazon page to buy the Space View Baby Monitor, you'll likely find a video of me talking about it. I was paid to make that video. I'm not being paid for this one. Let's get into it. Hey guys, Andrew here with Dadverb. Gonna get this out of the way real quick. If I had to choose one monitor at the moment for my nursery, it's either gonna be Nanit or the newly released Miku. More on this one to come soon, just got my hands on it. Showing lots of potential, it's awesome. Uh, but I'm just more partial to Wi-Fi monitors. I like their features and I enjoy the remote access to the feed. That said, the Eufy Space View is my favorite non-connected monitor. For our family, we use it 100% of the time for traveling. When we're with our in-laws or staying at a hotel, it's super easy to get this thing set up right next to our son's pack and play. There's no Wi-Fi setup or passwords or account logins. It's just a matter of plugging it in and we're up and running. So let's back up and answer who's this monitor for? Uh, I'd say it's for people a little more worried about EMFs or security, but still want good quality and features usually found in Wi-Fi monitors. Uh, this could probably be your main go-to if you're leaning toward a non-connected option. Compared to Amazon's bestseller, the Infant Optics DXR8, this guy beats it out from a quality standpoint with ease. In fact, it, it probably beats it out in every category. It has all the same features and then some, and it just does it better. It's got a five inch display and 720p picture. I've seen too many terrible non-connected options at Bye Bye Baby that are so sluggish and lack in picture quality. So I've enjoyed our Eufy even if it's on the fringe of qualifying for HD. The picture's great during the day, at night it's okay, but again, in my experience, way better than infant optics. Now, the great thing about this monitor is that it doesn't lock you down to a crib view. It has 330 degrees of pan and 110 degrees of tilt to give you a full view of the nursery, which is pretty nice. The range is listed at 460 feet, which is a little bit lower than a lot of options out there. Uh, admittedly, I've never actually had to test the bounds of that limit, but we've used it in a variety of average size single family homes here and we've never had a signal issue. The parent unit has a few basics, including temperature display, two-way talk, and a zoom function. The camera also comes with a wide angle lens for a more complete view of the room, which we have that on almost all the time. We're, we're actually never not without this lens on. <laughs> That's a double negative. Ah. Sound alerts are an uncommon feature for non-connected monitors, but Eufy threw that in there to help notify you when the baby is crying, which is always a helpful feature for any new parent. But our favorite feature, the one we probably rely on the most, is continuous audio monitoring. We can just turn off the screen and have audio still coming in so we can always hear for the baby. And actually, that's what usually wakes us up in the morning. Not an alert or a chime coming from our phone, but his voice itself. So that about wraps everything up. If you have any further questions, please leave them down in the comments section below. If you're interested in buying this guy right here, uh, I've got a link down in the description. Buying through that link actually helps support this channel. It's at no additional cost to you guys. If you found this video helpful, smash that like button down there. It looks like a thumbs up. For more videos and reviews for new parents, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching this video and come back for the next one. God bless guys, later.